Hello, dear aquarist. Again here, Gerald Baslier, the consultant, someone who does precise guesswork based on reliable information I get. Well, I try to be a magician and telling you some words on fish health care by ex giving you the details of my examinations of cases I encounter. And today I will share with you uh, a PowerPoint uh, with uh, about a blood parrot. Yes, who came in with parasites? Ich Diabodo, used to be called Costia, the white spot disease, ich and a bacterial infection. Well, this was an interesting case and some of those diseases, of course, I describe in my books, which you can get in the link below. And here we see Look at this blood parrot, like he is damaged, he has a wound, he has a lesion. Well, most likely everybody will decide, oh, he has a wound, we have to treat with a bacterial medication. Well, we take a skin scraping of this lesion here, which looks very bad. He also some lesions here in the back, but particularly this part, we took a skin scraping. And this is what we found in the microscope. Look at the massive amount of parasites, the flagellated parasites, Ichthyobodo or Costia, which used to be called. And this is causing all that necrotic tissue. This is causing the, causing the white lesions, which we noticed. And of course, bacteria can invade and can have a big impact on the health of the fish. But it's the parasite who is the primary cause. And what we also found were white spots. Here, the ick. You see some of the parasites here in the in the content. We also find some white spots in the gills. Well, this is a problem that white spots is also playing a part in the fish health of the fish. And as we can see here on this video, you see the parasite moving alive underneath that layer of mucus on the gills of the fish. So it's you can see. The parasite is well protected from any medication in the water, except maybe salt can have an impact on osmotic pressure. But like treatments with uh, our common drugs will not kill the parasite unless you put uh, a damage to that protective mucus layer. Inside we found some tubercles in the organs, in the spleen, in the kidney. Well, that might be a risk that there is a bacterial infection going on with mycobacterium here also. We can see here the tubercles in the, in the intestine. So what can we recommend as a treatment for uh, this case? Well, we found different infections, so you have to treat in combination, treating the ichthyobodo costia. And the ick at the same time, uh, you can use medications for ick because most of those anti white spot medications will also work against the, the costia. So you can see further my explanation uh, in my next slides about the ick treatments. Ask advice in your aquarium shop because they might have good medications available because they have experience with these medications. Or you can see in my books. You can combine with antibacterial medication against the further skin damage, so you have to think about that. The treatment against the tubercles, most likely it's mycobacterium. Uh, well, here it's only a few uh, little infection. Well, it's better in this case, I would recommend, to help the immune system so the fish can defend themselves against further infection. And you can help with Dr. Basley at Byfish Food, Matrine and FUCO and profession or professional care. And let me explain you here about my Dr. Basley anti ick method, which is available on our website, because we know that parasite has a cycle, it takes about five to 10 days, depending on the temperature, drops off and multiplies when he is dropped off, and then he will reinfect the other fish or the same fish in the aquarium. And it's this stage where the little parasites reinfect, you can control with medication like Farnamore or Protomore. And at the same time, we recommend feeding with Dr. Basler Bifish Food Matrin because that protects the skin, protects the skin against reinfection and also makes the skin in a change, changing manner 
that the parasites easily drop off so that the skin tissue is changing. So the combination also with changing temperature, uh, siphoning the bottom uh, and those actions of a medication in the water and a food that helps the fish is recommended for this kind of incidence. So try to follow up this method to have an active result. You can read about it in my books. I give you good details of that, particularly in the newest book. I have details on this matrine treatment. You can get more training on fish doctoring if you want to become more specialized at my Patreon. And I hope this again helped you to understand fish diseases and to be a better aquarist and a good fish keeper. Thank you for watching.